What is up, everybody? How's it going? Hello. Uh, <coughs> oh, I have to give everyone a warning. I am sick. Uh, so I sound a little funny. Uh, so excuse me. Um, what's up, Pinhu, MBG, and modded Enderman? That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I'm doing okay other than the sick part. That's not fun. But yeah, the trip was fun. We got to see the solar eclipse for the second time. I saw it back in 2017. It was pretty cool. This time it was four minutes. So that's cool. Last time it was only like a minute 50 seconds, which is not that much time. <laughs> but more than double this time, which is really cool. Scrap law hydration. Yeah, no dance parties today. So sorry about that. But I'm too sick to dance. Hey, Ricky Ricardo, what's up? Join the perfect time and just watch your previous streams. Awesome. That's really cool. Thanks for doing that. Appreciate it. Yeah, welcome. Sorry that I'm sick this time. Hopefully <clears throat> tomorrow I won't be as sick. We'll see. Yeah, it's a bra moment. <sighs> yeah. Been just uh, getting back into the swing of things. I've been working on the game quite a bit today. And uh, a little bit yesterday. Yeah, I got some good little changes in place. Um, <clears throat> the main thing I've been working on is trying to balance early game power. Since that was kind of a big issue. And I did mention in that one announcement that I was like, this is what I'm going to work on. Um, yeah, balancing issues with early animation. So I think it's much better now. I'll, I'll show that off to everybody. Um, I still need to work on dungeoning stuff more. Which we might do today. We just need to think of ways on how we can actually do that. Um, so yeah. Hey, Yoshik, what's up? How's it going? <coughs> yeah, sorry for all the coughs and stuff. I'm not going to have time to mute every single time. So we'll just have to put up with it, unfortunately. I got a humidifier set up and stuff. Um, which has been helping a little bit. But yeah. Uh, tomorrow's stream will not be at this time. It'll be at 3 p.m. MST, which is the usual time. So. Today I have to do it a little earlier because, well, I'm sick. Uh, and also I have an early meeting today. Usually my game design club meeting is on Wednesday, but uh, we're doing a game jam this weekend. For anyone that doesn't know, Ludum Dare. Uh, 55. I'm gonna be participating. So I have to be there on Friday because they're doing like an unveil ev event, you know. So. Yeah, we are gonna um, participate in that. Which is pretty cool. I don't know what the theme's gonna be. That's what uh, is being revealed tomorrow. Or today, I mean. <laughs> so. Hey Zen, what's up? Welcome. So you were just de dehydrated because he wasn't streaming. <laughs> <coughs> well, you should drink water. You shouldn't have to wait until the stream, because that's a good way to die. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm dying right now. Okay. Anyways, let's jump into uh, stuff. So, big change. A lot of changes to power stuff. But let's uh, show it off. So first new thing that I've added is the battery. It was a little weird to get working because the funny thing with power stuff is like, okay, batteries consuming the excess power. Now there's no excess power. So the battery stops consuming excess power and it makes this like feedback loop. So you have to kind of separate the battery logic from the regular power logic. It's, uh, it's funny, you know, but, uh, I've got it working well. So let's uh, just load into a save. Manual save, the classic. Uh, this is the change log. It's not too much yet, but I fixed the multiplayer thing with treadmills. 
I decreased the collector power consumption. I added batteries, increased the, increased the day cycle. Uh, I doubled it from five minutes to ten. Uh, you can now set V-Sync. You can set a max FPS. I think I fixed the issue with the null network in the Tesla coil, but I'm not sure, so we'll see. Uh, I fixed this thing. It's a very specific thing, but it would just flash with like the no power thing because it thinks that there's no power, even though there was when you add a Tesla coil. Uh, then I fixed an issue with blacklist filters just not working. Oh, yeah, I also have to say... <coughs> so, let me load this up. So, big changes with the power stuff. So first off, we got batteries. You can see them over here. These are all fully charged right now. Um, but if I go ahead and turn all these off, I'll just break them. You can see the batteries will start to be used for the power. So you can see them down here, they're now draining their power. Because, uh, there's no power generation. So it's keeping up with all the power needs of everything. And it'll just slowly start to drain. So yeah, batteries, I made them pretty easy to, uh create. It's only 10 copper ingots. <coughs> the thing with batteries is that they're not super overpowered because you still need all of your actual real power production. So yeah, <laughs> well the battery, it's weird because it doesn't really generate power. Right. So I'm going to have to uh, make an exception to this one and not show a generate thing. Come from your, like, third stream designing the bees. Oh, yeah, no, that's a big difference, yeah. Oh, uh, the max capacity, so... It's kind of arbitrary, but it's 100 units. And I define that as, like... <clears throat> okay, so... Say every... Say you're producing in excess of... 100 star ground energy, right? Then that means in one second, the battery will fill up. So it's essentially st star ground energy per second is how it's like stored. So obviously one battery is not really enough, but if you have a whole array of them, then they uh, last quite a bit longer. So yeah, these are all empty um, and you can see the power has shut off. Uh, you can also maybe see now the lamps will uh, change in brightness depending on how much power is being produced so like we have a little bit of power going through you know but it's not enough it's only 66 percent satisfaction so you can see the lamps are kind of dark <coughs> and also now same with the crafters so uh for example let me just break this so we're very low on power we're not producing enough the crafters will still work but they're just really slow so I've kind of changed the way that the power stuff works. And this will make it so much easier early game. Because I think one of the big issues early game is like... It's really hard to power everything at full power. You know, until you get like a really good setup with burners and stuff. So now you can just say like, okay, well I'm just going to put down a bunch of collectors and I'll just run on the treadmill for a minute. And you can still power everything, even though it won't be fully powered, but it still works. And I think that's going to be a massive help in early game stuff. Uh, the lamps just light up nighttime, so you can actually see. Because obviously without them on, as you can see, it's a little dark. Of course they're not necessary, but... It's just there for... If you want them, you know? So, we can go ahead and power up all these now, fully. And you can see everything starts running normal. Crafter's going at full speed. You can see that going. So we're gaming. Uh, and also the bees will also slow down now with the power. So if your power is really low, they start moving slower and breaking things slower. <laughs> so. And you can see all these batteries have charged back up now that we have extra 
Steel? Yeah, steel is in the game. That was a... Uh, uh, everyone can actually get steel. You, uh, you have to use the foundry to make steel. It's the only recipe in there right now, but we'll add more soon. Yeah, foundry produces steel with uh, coal and iron. So... Really, the only thing it's used for right now is just the solar panels, but... You know. We gotta <clears throat> keep branching things out. Yeah, I think the change to collector's good, though. Oh, you know what? I didn't actually, uh... I have to change that to minus five. Yeah, it should be a big help. <laughs> MC Zervezi 2 hook, yeah. Yeah, you guys have been gaming over there. Let's see, I'm just thinking, okay, I'm gonna have to leave at like 5.30. Okay, I'll probably stream at least until like 4 o'clock. Getting a little bit bored with Minecraft server. Yeah, Minecraft always eventually hits that point where you kind of run out of things to do. It's just sort of an inevitability with anything, really. Oh, the automatons, automatons ever drop steel? Maybe. I could make them drop steel. Um... Of course, it's kind of useless until you actually get the researches to use it, you know, but, yeah. Um, yeah, everything's going pretty good. Hopefully, uh, early game power will be much easier now, which actually I want to test it. So we're going to start up a brand new game. Um, a train casing factory. Let's go. Which the creative flash pretty part. Yeah. <laughs> we have entered create creative mode. There is nothing. Survival is no more. We've surpassed survival. <coughs> Boom. Oh, sorry about the coughing. Yeah, he do have creative lights. Insane. Yeah, I'm just gonna start up a game and just see how this feels, you know? I think it's really important to actually be able to play through the early game. Oh yeah, I forgot coal's a better fuel source. Tell me, tell me what. Okay, I need a little bit more copper. <clears throat> Got to draw me buff, yeah. <laughs> Two furnaces so I can get the copper going at the same time. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough stone. Okay. Cold does last quite a bit. Did something bouncing here on the MC server that's currently closed. We hope to be able to show when more people are on and you're streaming. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, do that. Uh, I'll probably be streaming Minecraft maybe tomorrow. So, we could do it then. Multiplayer tester now? Uh, probably not, because there's things in this version not everybody has. I kind of have to plan for that, you know, more ahead of time. <laughs> but very soon we will. Okay, so we can build a crafter. Oops. And then we can also do the Tesla coil. 
to be able to make tomorrow. We could do it Sunday instead if you want to be there for it. So yeah, now we can. Oh. Uh oh. I think it's just, uh, I gotta fix an issue with that. <clears throat> so there's maybe one or two streams behind. What's the status of the game? Yeah, I mean, we're getting really close. I think, um, I've got a really good basis foundation for all the automation stuff, especially now that, like, power is fully in and it's, like, working, set up with all the machines. Um, I think the next big step is to kind of, um, start pumping out some more feature stuff. I want to add farming. I want to do more quality of life stuff, like being able to rebind uh, keys, uh, and then also more dungeoning stuff. Dungeoning still needs a bit of work, I'd say. Um, it's just not quite there yet. But I uh, would like to work on that very soon, so... Hopefully this stream will start doing that. Because I want to get the second dungeon set up, and that's going to be a big help for content. And then also... Um, <clears throat> The thing I want to address is, like, uh, early game combat with the dungeons. Because once you get the Shroom Axe, it's easy, but with the uh, primitive handles and stuff, it's kind of awful. So, I want to work on that today. Yes, yeah, so we're going to make a battery. I don't know why this uh, thing is still showing up with the uh, crafter. It's pretty weird. Did some of the bad and everyone in my friend group hates you. Damn. We don't hate you, Zen. It's okay. I'll put a battery down. That's just very strange. So, it just doesn't... Does it craft? It totally does. Which this one it doesn't have a recipe selected. Let's go figure out if we can see what's happening here. <coughs> I think it's probably unbuildable. So we have it set up so Okay. So, if the instance is not valid for the power coil, blah, blah. Otherwise, if the satisfaction is less than 0.5. Oh, it's because, uh, I see. That's why. So, in here with uh, satisfaction set, it's because consumption is zero. So I'm saying here, if that's, yeah, so we have to say, what's zero divided by, I don't think that'll be an issue, right? Zero divided by a thousand is a zero. It's only an issue when you divide by zero. So we're just going to say if power consumption is greater than that. Well, if power generation <clears throat> is greater than zero, else... <clears throat> okay, so if there's power generation and no power consumption, we can say satisfaction is full. Yeah, that should be all good. So let's check that again. Um, there we go. Yeah, just a funny little thing. That was awesome. Super psychic to play this in the future. I uh, also appreciate you testing early game play. Yeah, no. I, I appreciate the kind of words. Yeah, it's definitely important to play through early game and kind of see how things feel progression wise. It's so easy to just focus on the later stuff and just ignore early game. But early game is a huge part of the experience, you know. Okay, this is working normal now. So we can... Now what we can do with this battery, right? We can sit here and charge it. Right? Get the battery charged. Now we can just set this to craft something. And we can just let our battery go. So that's way easier early game. That's a massive help. Uh... 
All right, it's because the battery. It's pretty weird. Because it only generates when. See, I'll have to fix that too. <clears throat> okay, what we need to say so if power consumption is greater than zero. Then we pick the minimum of power generation. Because otherwise, if it's zero, satisfaction is one. Right? Because if it's zero and then we're hitting zero, it's fine, yeah. Okay. You can divide zero, you can't divide by zero, yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, this is working now. So we can just kind of set this to make gears. Our battery will stay charged. So really, like, one battery is actually pretty decent early game, just for, like, some basic crafting and stuff. So that's good. Because it finished. Yeah, it did stop because it finished, but it was showing, like, no power, even though the battery's still charged. So that was the uh, thing there. So we can place down a collector. Uh, let's start making some more iron. <coughs> Sorry, I sound all sick and gross. But I wanted to stream today. It's been a long time. It's been like almost two weeks, so... Alrighty. So we got the gears. So let's build a collector. Build something like right over here. Connect it up with our coils. Boom, now we're good. Yeah, of course that's draining our batteries. It's not a huge issue because now that we have a collector, it's uh, it'll go a little bit faster. But you can see as soon as that runs out of batteries, the bees just stop. So... But it is no problem. We'll just run on this, charge the batteries. So really the play early game then is to get a few batteries set up. So you can just sit here and charge them really quick. Um, and then let them go. Because one collector only uses five now. So really getting batteries set up, you can have it go for quite some time. <coughs> hey, what's up, Saiku? How's it going? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of stuff already. So we got two batteries now. Just gonna let it go. Like 20 seconds. Uh, well, it depends on your power consumption, but yeah. See, now that we have two, you can see it, it lasts way longer. So yeah. You saw the Eiffel Tower. I know, right? <laughs> That's insane. Can't believe it fell down. So yeah, really then, I guess the next thing is to get a uh, burner set up. It's probably a good idea. Because now that we have a collector, it's making enough uh, coal and wood and stuff to fuel a burner. So... Get notifications. Wait, what did that say? Oh, my humidifier tank is empty. Oh well. So we need to smelt some brick. Let's get more uh, stone. Fist icon? <laughs> yeah, it's been in the game for a minute. <clears throat> the bro fist. So we have to smelt the stone. One other thing I saw people um, just in videos and stuff was that sometimes it wasn't always immediately obvious how to make stone bricks. 
I think for stuff like the iron, it's like really obvious, like oh, iron ore, copper ore. But people I noticed with stone brick were like, what is that? So. Hey, Slimy, what's up? It's been a minute. How's it going? So yeah, then we get the mover set up. Now we got the burner going and this will this will propel us into the future. Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm sick though. That's it's so fun being sick. Don't you love being sick? <laughs> I love coughing and having a sore throat and being tired. It's my favorite thing. The sickness I got? Uh maybe the flu or something or the common cold. It's not that bad, but yesterday I felt worse. I feel better today. Maybe this stone brick looks like... Yeah, I think that's maybe partially where some of the confusion comes into play. You know, I bet if I added, like, holes to it, like a brick, you know what I mean? Then it would look maybe less similar? We could definitely think about doing that. Oh, we're out of fuel. Okay, so we can actually do... All right, but the batteries... See, we got a backlog of energy. Batteries do make this much easier early game. So we can actually straight up start with biofuel. That'd be a good idea. How's Stargrind looking? Uh, yeah, it's been going well. I've been just kind of refining early game power progression right now. Uh, just to make it feel better. But it's going pretty well. I'd say. <coughs> there we go. Okay, we got biofuel now. Boom. Yeah, I added batteries recently, which is a pretty big help when it comes to uh, uh, early game power management. Because you can just kind of charge your batteries on the treadmill for a minute and then... Uh, you have this, like, backlog of energy. So even if it goes out for a minute, you're fine, because you still have a bunch stored up, so... It's pretty convenient, actually. Um, let's make some more copper. Looks pretty good. Awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, 10 iron in there. Is there a release date yet? Um... <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> right now, the release date... I haven't announced it, but I guess I'll announce it now. Is July 30th. Um, it's probably later than I need it to be. So I might push it back. But I don't want to underestimate the time it takes, you know, so. But yeah, sometime this summer is the plan, at least. Um, we're iron in here. Get more copper going. So now that we got the gears, we can build yet another collector. So that one's going there. I'll put this one like up over here. Now that's going. So we're gaming. Jamming hard or hardly jamming. Yeah, it's so nice to have these batteries just as a. Oops. Just kind of a bank of stuff. It does make power way easier. Yeah, I'm glad I added the batteries. <laughs> I just hope people actually use the batteries, you know. See how fast they charge, though, when we have a bunch of extra power. Biofuels, god tier. <coughs> Actually, now that we got it going. Ah, shoot, I just. Too late. Um, I was gonna do this. Yeah, dear. Bricks could be, uh, be made from cement, but that isn't too straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, I kind of like how simple it is, the idea of just smelting stone to get bricks, you know? Um,. It's pretty convenient. Okay, this is what I want to do. 
It is time to automate our biofuel. Yeah. Now we've got big boy power. I don't have any lamps yet. Right. That's a research now. For in your whole day that day. <laughs> yeah, I can't. It's sort of a soft release date. I don't know if that's going to be the actual release date, but that's just my assumption right now. Ooh. Could probably start making some, uh, some better stuff right now. <coughs> I have a bunch of copper still. Copper definitely is more useful now with the batteries, but... Um, start learning ZBrush, uh, as I'll be needing for uni soon, maybe Roblox hats will do so publish somewhere here in like $11 in sales after 30 minutes. Let's go. Just passive income, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing with like, uh, doing like asset packs. It's just kind of a nice passive income in the background. I need to do more asset packs. I was actually going to work on another one. But I just, uh, haven't gotten around to it yet. Because, you know, I've been working on this game, so. <laughs> it's been going pretty well. We're now at 1,600 wish lists. I think I'm allowed to release that info. I don't think Steam would care. Um, so that's a lot of wish lists. <laughs> it's not bad. Still wouldn't even cover, like, one month of rent. But, you know. <laughs> Almost. Almost will. How many wishes? 1,600, yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's a lot more than I expected us to get to. Well, so yeah, hey Bruno, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Let's see what we got going over here. Oh yeah, we got power on lock now. So yeah, that felt no problem getting power set up. So I think with the uh, batteries, we should be uh, gaming. That's a lot. Yeah, I know. It's actually quite a bit. <laughs> I'm really hoping that uh, if the game gets into the new and upcoming category, that would be huge. Um, well, it's not that easy. I think you need at least 2,000 wishlists before Steam considers your game for that. <laughs> so I don't know if we'll ever reach that point, honestly. But maybe. Maybe one day. Problem is, it's not going to be new and upcoming if it doesn't hit that before release, so we'll just have to see. But if it does get put in a new and upcoming, then it gets recommended to people, and that's uh, a really massive thing for getting more wish lists. Getting the first term reviews, yeah, that's absolutely uh, really important too. Not too worried about getting the 10 reviews. I think I think we're on good good pace for that, especially the 1600 wish list. So I think uh, that'll be no problem. It just depends also like what I'm gonna do with the review keys. I've been looking into ways like what we how we can do stuff with that. I don't think uh, I can still give the alpha build access version to people because I think it'll just turn into the release build. So I might have to revoke everybody's keys, which, you know, to be fair, I've, I've mentioned everywhere that these will not give you full access to the game, so... But yeah, we're probably going to have to revoke alpha keys. I think it's the only way it's going to work. Um, I might contact Steam customer support before I fully make that decision, just to completely make sure that's my only option, you know, but yeah. <coughs> okay, so we got a little bit of automation going on now. So that's all going in there. We can move our furnace set up now. Minecraft furnace for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still make this a Carlson moment? Nah, I'm not gonna pull a Carlson. It's definitely coming out this year. Interview shows positive. Yeah, no, that's super important. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that positive rating. I just hope uh, the game's actually good. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's so hard to tell as the developer of a game like this if it's actually fun. 
you know. I mean, I'm having a good time doing this, but it's just like... Is it just because I made it, you know? I don't know. Um, so that's the only concern. Ah, I forgot to put a filter. Oh, that's weird. Gonna have to fix that. Um. Ah, shoot, that's a big issue, isn't it? That's annoying. <laughs> Got to fix that. The uh, items here are going underneath the mover. That is absolutely not correct behavior. Overwhelmingly positive. <laughs> well, I think you need, yeah. Overwhelmingly positive, you need a lot of reviews. So, I don't know if we'll ever hit that point. Probably not. <clears throat> a thousand reviews is insane, because most people that get games don't leave reviews. Um, I don't know the exact percentage. I'd have to look it up, but I am pretty sure that the actual percent of people that leave reviews is a tiny portion of the number of people that actually buy it. So, um, yeah. A game that gets a thousand reviews is like, that game did pretty freaking good. <laughs> hey, uh... The four-tone person. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. <coughs> hey, thank you so much for the sub with Prime, too. Let's go. Hold up. Where is the, uh, confetti? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's kill the bit rate. Bye, bit rate. No more. I hate bit rates. Stone. Okay. So now we gotta get the. Oh, I don't have long range movers yet. Shoot, brother. I gotta make 40 gears. That's fine. We'll get started on that. Got plenty of fuel stored up. Around one review per 50 sales. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a crazy difference. Barely anybody actually leaves reviews. Just make the game good and everyone will leave you. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> I just, uh, it's... I, I won't ever really know if the game's actually good to... Because I'm... Totally biased, that's the issue. I can't play the game and not be biased because I made it. <laughs> I think I'm more biased against it being good rather than it being good. Just because I only see the flaws, you know? But still, it's just kind of like, I don't know. Um, let's put the iron in there. It's actually easy if I just do that. Yeah, because somehow it automatically goes through. Okay, so before we can do that, we have to build a researcher, which will take five circuits. So let's uh, start working on that. We're going to need uh, more iron. It has no coal. Oh, you're playing right now? Let's go. Were you one of the people that uh, got it on key, uh, key mailer? So that's, a, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go Civ it up in a bit. Yeah, I'm, uh, Psycho, I'm down to play uh, Civ later tonight if you want. So, just let me know. Brownout? Uh-oh. Yeah, brownouts are a bro moment. <laughs> Me every time I go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, you're somewhere. Yeah, okay, awesome. Uh, let me, yeah, for anybody that has a, a key from Keymailer, definitely let me know because I can add you to the closed alpha role. So there's something new in here, but I don't see anything new. 
Um. Oh, you're the yeah. I gave you a key. Oh, you're already in close alpha. Okay. Just making sure. Alrighty, now we're making. Now we're cooking. Let me get a few more of these going. So we need the iron. Okay. No biggie. I got a plus one. Let's go. Wonder if I'll ever beat my record ever again. Probably not. I'll just drop all the iron in there. I could actually do both iron and copper. I mean, I don't necessarily see why I wouldn't. Right? Because it's all going in the same place. I can sort it out later. This is the only issue when we do this. But if we have a uh, conveyor set up, it's not a problem. <clears throat> Sorry about the coffin. Okay, this looks like Rimworld Factory out of baby. Yeah, <laughs> Rimworld's fun. I need to play more Rimworld. I uh, saw that the new DLC is actually out. The Anomaly DLC or whatever. That looks pretty interesting. So, that would be pretty fun to try out. And we'll do a Rimworld stream someday if people want that. <laughs> yeah, I can see the... The connection with RimWorld, though. There are definitely things <clears throat> um, in RimWorld that I like. That I kind of... Uh, I don't know. Maybe in one form or another have kind of implemented into this game a little bit. I, c I couldn't tell you exactly what, but... That's the thing, working on a game like that. Or on this. <laughs> is um, you just kind of... You have all these influences being funneled through and uh, kind of shaping the final product, so. And I do like RimWorld, so there probably is some influence from that into the Starground, so. Oh, this is done. Okay, we can get a Researcher. Uh, I think that needs iron. Bam! So, which research do we want to do first? Alloying's cheap. I would really like to get lanterns, the lamps. Even though it's, you know, not really necessary, but... I'll do more of my favorite game, let's go. Yeah, I do love some RimWorld. <clears throat> it's always fun to try out all the different mods and stuff on the workshop. There's a lot to choose from. I always tend to do way too many and then the, <laughs> the game runs like trash but yeah oh we got plenty of biofuel yeah we're doing we're doing pretty good right now let's get another crafter out let's make another five gears uh, I gotta connect it up to power. Need some stone. There we go. Oh, yeah, I've also been thinking about, uh... So one thing that, uh... Uh, Quiet Pikachu mentioned on the Discord server. They were saying, like, how they would like, uh... A more permanent source of resources, you know? And that's definitely something I've been thinking about that I've kind of wanted to do. Just because this is good and all, but I think, um, you know, of course, sometimes RNG is a little bit of a bra moment, so. <coughs> but my idea, I, I remembered a machine from Frostpunk. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have played Frostpunk, but there's a thing called a thumper. Specifically the coal thumper, right? And I thought this kind of mechanic would be perfect. Because essentially what this does is it slams on the ground, it thumps, um, and it creates these little deposits of coal 
on the surface, right? Uh, and then you use these gathering posts, like people, your little guys come out from the gathering post, collects the coal, and then goes back. And it was just interesting because I realized that's exactly how collectors work. Because collectors are these little guys that go out and grab your resources and brings it back. And so my idea with that is a very similar thing. Where we have some kind of machine and then around it in a radius it generates a specific type of resource. And you can just have collectors around it ready to mine those resources. I like it because it fits into like the base game way of gathering resources like that. Which is a big bonus. Um, and it would still keep collectors relevant. You know, which is good. But it would let you kind of focus on exactly what kinds of resources you'd want. And maybe the solution to that is that it just takes a lot of energy to run. Uh, just so it's a little more balanced. Yeah. What are the thoughts on that? <coughs> so sorry about the coughing. This also needs wood. Okay. We need a bunch of gears. We need 80 iron. Oh yeah, <laughs> one thing that's kind of interesting, since I actually have the max FPS slider now, I can set it to something really low, and it's actually a very good tool for testing, because I can check how the game handles lag. So that's kind of a, a nice little side effect of that. Whoa. What is going on with those particles? Did you guys see that? Whoa, they just freak out. Huh. That's crazy. Yeah, it sucks playing at 10 FPS. But it's good for testing. I'm actually going to set to unlimited. Uh, when placing, you could perhaps show the total amount available. Type of turning could influence that, or it could just be random. Yeah. Maybe like a, kind of like a, a yield value, like a percent or something like that. <clears throat> that would work pretty well, I think. But yeah, I think it'd be a good solution for very end game when uh, you're kind of at the limit of like <clears throat> the natural spawning of resources and you want to go beyond that just to see how crazy things can get. So. <coughs> Oh, let's see. You can now simulate my conveyor belt or conveyor hell without having to waste hours of time placing them. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I've got that save. Oh, you mean with the FPS? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually yeah, really useful tool. I should have added that earlier so I could test issues with low FPS. But yeah, I've already found a few uh, just messing around with that. So, hopefully I can address that. Hopefully the game will never ever get that slow. That's, uh, 10 FPS is not good. If people are dropping to 10 FPS, then I need to uh, optimize the game better, but, you know. I gotta get long-range movers. <laughs> it's a little annoying. Well, let's get the gears going. It's a small portion of what I need. I think we've got all the iron there. I just gotta smelt now. Time for conveyor treadmill. Tree swing clerk. Yeah, I think they seem good to me. I haven't had any weirdness. But then again, I didn't have any weirdness before, so I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they seem to be doing exactly what I expect them to, so that's good. But that's that's about all I can say, unfortunately. Oh, is our research done? Yeah, you said to have a yeah sound notify you when the research is complete. That's definitely something I want to do. I think when you have a research active, I'd like some kind of like pinned thing up here that shows the research and then the progress of it. Um, it would just be a nice thing to have, I think. There's the progress bar here, which is all good and dandy, but yeah, I'd like something a little more obvious. Ooh, the iron. Okay, another 20 iron. I might decrease this amount to 20 instead of 40. 40 is kind of a lot of gears. I guess I didn't really realize. The very first Dune game, you sent prospectors to determine the yield of the area. Oh yeah, spice richness. Then slowly decreases, you mine till reach 0%. Yeah. I mean, the only issue with that is that this is a limited build area, right? And so if we do have some kind of like diminishing return type of thing, then that means we get to a point where you just, they don't work anymore. <laughs> it's not very sustainable. So we'd either have to make a method of uh, like resetting the richness of certain deposits or whatever, or we just have them uh, not deplete. Just finish the 40 gears for automation research. Let's go. Yeah, what did you think? Did it take too long for the 40 gears? Because I feel like it's taken a little bit too long. Would you prefer if I decreased it down to 20? Because <laughs> I feel like that might be a little more fair. Since it's not like none of this stuff is hugely game like. Like it's just all quality of life nice to have versus something like uh, alloying that unlocks new things. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, Anomi X. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Welcome to the stream. In fact, fuel cells made from plant-based materials. Is it? <laughs> well, it's made from coal, biofuel, and copper wire. <coughs> so, I mean, it's pretty much uh, plant stuff. Uh, you thought it was fine? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to do whatever any everybody thinks is right so if, if you thought it was fine i'll keep it at the 40 for now our power is still holding strong with only one burner it's pretty crazy fifty biofuel though for the advanced fuel it's not that hard to make fifty biofuel I mean I've got eleven just sitting around here right now But yeah, again, if it's if it's too difficult, let me know. I can make it not as difficult. I want the progression to feel smooth and not. Uh, I don't want the player to be hit with this massive monumental task, you know. And then it's just like, oh, this is gonna take a thousand years. I want it to feel just a lot of tiny steps, so you build up, and then you can look back and be like, hey, I'm like way further than I was at the beginning, you know. Alright, so that's going now. We could build another researcher, which might be a good idea. Uh, we will need one more copper wire. Uh, boom. I do not have the iron ready. Get more iron. The iron grind is uh is real. <laughs> um 
put some in there. Let's get some of this coal over here. Okay. Now we are jamming. So you can build another researcher now. Split the gears. There we go. Let's actually go twice as fast now. Sure, the joke about experience deja vu. <laughs> no way. What's up, Mad Nerve? How's it going? <clears throat> okay, so the one burner's starting to be a little bit of a limiting factor. Uh, mainly just because we have two researchers going, but yeah. So it shouldn't be a huge issue. Alrighty. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Sorry, let me try to pronounce this. I'm sorry if it's wrong. Pet... Pedrero de Mora? Sorry if that's wrong. That's probably completely wrong. But yeah, welcome. Yeah, I'm just playing through early game. Just trying things out, making sure the progression feels good. Which so far, I I think it feels pretty solid. Uh, I feel like things are taking, like, just the right amount of time. <laughs> Whereas me meme username? Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. It's all dad jokes, you don't have any kids, you're a faux pas, no way. That's crazy. We're about to get long range movers, so this is gonna be insane. And. Oh, we're there. Let's go. This will be very nice. Oh, yeah, baby. I might wanna start redirecting my biofuel. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's all set up. Uh, next thing now, let's just get more collectors going. You can actually build one right now. So I got one there, one there. Let's just do one like right over here. And we will need to connect it up. Power. There we go. I need to get uh, this stuff automatically exiting the furnaces now. <clears throat> There we go. I need wood. Wouldn't ya? Why is that? That's what you just did. It's crazy. <coughs> Alright. The setup's going good now. Uh, let's just keep on... Keep on trucking. gonna hop now since this brown is gonna last 12 hours sheesh alrighty well good luck godspeed soldier <laughs> 12 hours is a long time sneaky what's up how's it going iron into here. I need to make lamps. I do have them unlocked. Let's just do it. Can't see nothing, bro. There we go. (laughs) 
you consider having critters spawn randomly when resources are harvested? Just wander around. When there's enough of them, they launch an attack on one of the buildings. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, one route I could have gone down. Having, like, combat. Um... But I kind of like the idea of the automation area just being very passive. Not really having to worry about enemies and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, of course, it's it comes back to the same thing. If uh, people want that, then I will do it, <laughs> you know. So it's like... Whatever the demand is, that's what, uh, that's what I'm going to add, so... I need Ace Man here. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do we? I mean, we can. A splitter isn't working. Well, that's not good. Uh, what issue are you having with it? Like, how? What's your setup? Can you uh like send a screenshot so I can see? Because that's uh that is indeed a problem. All right, that one's connected up. Epic. Like the divide between dungeon and automation. It's like the player is the proxy between the two. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally see the alert um, for the people that like dealing with enemies, too. Like, that's totally valid. Because um, it can be fun in Factorio to, like, build up your walls and defenses and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I figured it just... It didn't feel right with this kind of game, especially with the art style being old cutesy. I think people, when they see the game, have a certain impression of what it'll be like. And I think if there was like combat with enemies, I think that would not be the right expectation. So. But of course you can go to the dungeoning area and fight enemies. So, you know, there's a... Uh, that's kind of the combat outlet for people, I guess. Um, when you have more stuff built, can we see the planet get worse and worse? Yeah, that is... I would like pollution to be a mechanic. Um, I think it could be a, a fun thing to do. My idea with that is that as you pollute the environment more, you see like stuff like trees uh, stop growing. And so there's kind of a need to handle your carbon footprint a little bit. And if we ever get into, like, growing crops, which, well, not if we ever, we will, then it would kind of negatively impact all that stuff. So I think I would kind of want to present the player with two routes they go down, which is either the Band-Aid solution, right, where they just have to build more infrastructure to deal with the pollution, or the, uh route of like eliminating the root of the problem the pollution <coughs> and uh then there's kind of like two ways you could like deal with it yeah we'll see though ecological destruction is featuring us already <laughs> um you sent the screenshot all right sick uh not see that oh there we go so splitters don't move things into objects like that the only thing that can move items into uh, objects are movers so you don't want to have a splitter like this what you'd want to do is you can move your furnaces down by one tile then have two more movers um so that's just how splitters kind of work. I tried to reinforce the idea that it's more of a conveyor than a mover by putting conveyors on the mover or on the splitter. But yeah. Hopefully that clears up some confusion. <laughs> Why do melons have weddings? Because they can't elope. <laughs> How much iron do we got? Ooh, we got a lot of iron. 
Then we can move to a different planet. Maybe, yeah. We'll have to see. Whatever the people desire. Community community driven content. Alrighty. We got another collector. We're about to go crazy, if I do say so myself. Ray asked me to sink her phone, so I threw it in the ocean. <laughs> I don't think he needs that extra mover. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to put a splitter there at all. It's not really going to help. <clears throat> so... You want to colonize, make every planet die? Yeah? It's definitely something I could do. Just let me know, and I'll, I'll make it happen. More iron. The endless grind of iron. All right, we got a whole collector array set up. I think we're kind of at the point where I need to get my biofuel connected to my furnaces because I don't think the coal is quite enough. You call somebody with no body and no nose, nobody knows. <laughs> you know, people say they pick their nose, but I feel like that's just boring with mine. <laughs> I'm back from sitting it up. Welcome back. <laughs> Remove the trees. <laughs> Yeah, if you pollute too much, trees will stop. They won't be happy anymore. They'll go bye bye. They'll go bye bye. <laughs> okay, we are getting closer to end game. Our fuel situation will have to be optimized. So we have all the fuel going in there. So I say what we need to do is this. So we're going to move this out of the way for now. We're going to tear up things a little bit. Get this uh, better laid out. Keep that there for now because it'll cry if I get rid of it. Okay, so we're gonna have a collector. So we'll have a similar setup what we had before. Copper and iron will go through there. Then we're going to split this up on the side. So we're gonna say, um, two should probably be enough. We can always expand it if necessary. So like that, let's hope we have more iron. Should be enough. So we're gonna say all of the wood. Oops, that needs a mover. <coughs> Looks like we're out of iron. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it some biofuel. Uh. No. Uh, more iron. So those resources moving there. So ores go down there. The wood will go down here. We set both these to make biofuel. So those will both make biofuel. And then we'll have the biofuel be used for both of our burners and everything else we need. So we should be jamming. Uh, I need more stone bricks. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just set one of these to small enough some stone bricks. Why is there wood coming through here? I guess this is not enough. Okay. Let's uh, make more crafters then. Uh oh, we just ran out of power. Um, let's see. I'm sure if you've noticed, but I love bad jokes. It's just how I roll. <laughs> let's do like two more crafters just in case. Uh, right there should be okay. Get out of here, copper. Nobody likes you. Okay, now I'm out of iron. It's okay. Got enough. Set these to biofuel. And now we should be Golden Freddy. So we're going to do this. We're going to say, basically set priority to our burner array first. And I think we're at the point where we're probably going to need two burners. Although I would like to switch to solar panels as soon as we can. <coughs> yeah, this should be the setup though. So let's get our burners going. I'm just going to put this in the output. And we should be good to go. So these will start using biofuel now, which is much more efficient. Um, and then the coal will also go through here, so you know, we should have plenty of fuel. Can we get a filter? <laughs> what filter? <laughs> Are we going to use Star Launcher one day to deliver resources? Maybe. That would be an interesting, like, secondary use of the Star Launcher, so. Definitely possible. The drummer calls twin daughters, Anna 1 and Anna 2. No way. Technically filter with movers. Better way to filter behind research would be great. Um, so what would you want instead of a mover? Kind of like a conveyor move or a conveyor with a built-in filter? Or... Um... <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Gotta have a soundboard for playing sounds at the right moments, yeah. I can guess what people do for a living just by looking at their hands. I mean, I'm usually wrong, but I can guess. <laughs> when Mr. Riders does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to screw it in most of the way, and another to give us more twice. The surprise to us at the end, no way. Uh, the coins will be used for trading. Um... Which isn't really implemented into the game yet, but I just wanted to add the coins in to make sure that they're spawning correctly. Um, and also just so I can actually start testing it. Because that's another thing, is like I have to have it in the game for me to actually like start um, making sure it works, you know, so. Oh, I didn't put coal in the filter. Whoopsies. We actually need more furnaces now, I think. Four-way filter would be great. Hmm. Interesting. Put it with conveyors attached to some sides. Decide what goes where. Yeah. If you could draw up like an example of kind of what you mean exactly, that would probably be helpful. Oh man, we got a lot of fuel. We're loaded with coal. <coughs> I think it's time to start researching alloying. I'm 
logistical mover that only moves if it's powered by logic. Oh. Yeah, draw a schematic would be good. Sorry if I'm just stupid and don't know what you're talking about. I, you know, when you're sick, your brain is not a full capacity, so... Got some more batteries in our array. Uh, I believe we're also running out of power, so let's uh, make another burner. We're producing plenty of fuel anyway, so... Alrighty. So we got alloying going, then we can get clean energy. We got decorations done. Better storage would be nice. It's pretty easy to unlock. So maybe we'll do that right now. And an explanation of full is just small text box be confusing. Yeah. No, that's all good. Zeros and ones. Yeah, I know. I know how to code, fortunately. If I didn't, I don't think this game would get very far. C flat and G walking to a bar. The bartender shows in the door and says, sorry, we don't serve minors. <laughs> Hole is done in here. <coughs> All right, alloying is on its way. We could get advanced fuel pretty easily, I think. We've got so much biofuel. Oh, yeah. Ain't no thing. <laughs> Me went on default dance email. <laughs> oh, is it because you're not Prime anymore? Yeah. You're not a sub anymore. Damn. How close is that one? Really close. Almost there. That's so much coal. says we don't serve time travelers in here at time travel rocks no bar <laughs> oops i didn't mean to take that out i'm a silly little goober you guys haven't noticed i uh, perhaps sometimes seem to be a little silly <laughs> okay oops i didn't uh start it Oh, my heart. <laughs> it's the sickness. I'm down with the sickness. Um, one thing I've actually never set up is an automated fuel cell setup. So, I think it'd be kind of fun to try that out. <laughs> Oops, this needs 10 actually. Let's just get enough to make like a bunch, right? Do you have any idea of using a thumper to make the minerals pure? Maybe it slowly changes the area's tiles to a different type that will start yielding different resources. Or start using more advanced resources. So tiles start to change. Yeah. Maybe. The only thing that's kind of hard with that is tile set stuff because uh, I don't actually sync any of the tiles with multiplayer. Because it's just like kind of statically set on uh, everybody's games of what the tiles are so that could be a little scary to jump into changing that dynamically with multiplayer but we'll see i think the fuel cells is ammo for drills and chainsaws that emit smoke but also chop or mine trees and rocks like instantly yeah let's make advanced fuel cheaper it's too expensive i could make it cheaper yeah 
<coughs> Yo, what is up, Ace Man? What's freaking going on? If that even is your real name. Coal in the way. No more lamps. It's freaking dark out here. Sorry we haven't actually worked on adding new stuff, but I just really want to actually play through the game. Because I probably don't do that enough, honestly. Let's do one there. Let's do one like. Uh, oh, I'm out of uh, iron. I am sick. Yeah, I got the the ick, but it's okay. After being on all the buses and stuff, I'm not really surprised. Why is it flickering? I thought I fixed that. Dang. Oh well. There's like 35 bio fuel. Okay. Start the sun too long, maybe. <laughs> nah, it's probably all the goop and crust and grime on all the bus seats. Not the most sanitary place ever. Far from it. They're not sick though, yeah. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. Did I get arc eyes? <laughs> no, my eyes are fine. Yeah, Walters do get arc eyes. Well, I wore my my safety, my my uh, sun blocking glasses, so this isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> I've seen another eclipse before, so I know what's up. Do you live in Dryville and you went to Humid City? That's true. But I do actually have a humidifier going. Oh, it's out of water, though. Shoot. I've already gone through an entire tank and it's not raising the humidity anymore. Maybe I should have gotten a stronger one. <laughs> one that's a little more industrial. But, oh well. Ooh, we've hit the speed limit. Fun. So we're gonna have to do one of these. Get two movers going on that bad boy. And then we're gonna have to start upgrading the Mark II. I bought it before I even got back, because I knew it was gonna be dry. So it was like here the night that I got back. <laughs> Pretty nice. Ooh, I'm gonna have to set up automated gears. <laughs> Hydrate, oh no. Oh. Ooh, I don't think I have water. Water, no! <laughs> I have no water. Ugh. Oh. Now I'm gonna have to go get water. God frickin' dang it. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I gotta go get water now. Let me just get this set up to uh, go and then, then I'll go. Can I build it? Oh, I'm out of iron. Okay, so that's going now.
And hopefully this will be able to handle two more. Like a so. We're making a lot of resources. Almost, we're pretty much at the limit of what our belts can handle. We're going to have to upgrade more significantly. I will, I will get water. Let me just, uh... Let me get the foundry set up so I can get that going. And then I will do that. Uh, I will need coal for this. Well, I think I'm gonna make it so that's just wood. And then... I'm gonna have, have to make a new coal line. Ooh. Okay. Okay, coal. Ah! What's the wood doing? Dropping. Alright. Hey, Zen, thanks for popping in the stream. I appreciate it. You have a, a good night or day or something. Game is running so smoothly. <laughs> Starground? <laughs> it's going pretty, pretty smooth, I guess, yeah. Okay. Now we will craft... Oh, it also needs fuel, I forgot. Let's just drag this line over. Oh, it's taking all the... Okay. Now we are crafting steel. Oops. Let me just get this hooked up into the researcher, then I'm going to go get water. More iron, please. Okay. Oh, I need even more iron. Um, let's just start the clean energy research. Okay. Get the researcher. Bazinga. Okay. Or gaming, perhaps. Alright, our setup's going pretty cool. I'm gonna save it, just really quick, call it Manual Save the Sequel. Alright, I will be back, gamers. Hold on. Let me get the, uh... Hold on, guys. <gasps> no way. It's not bathroom break. It's not bathroom break, guys. Enjoy the epic art while I'm gone. Okay. Hold on, wait. There's my webcam. There we go. I'll be back.
I'm back. What's up? I got water. Now we'll get that sip for you. There we go. I also got zombie Takis. It's, uh, you can't see. Zombie Takis. I don't have zombie Takis, guys. They might be stale. They're pretty old. Okay. Look, I let everyone know I'm not doing dance party today because I'm too sick. I'm not feeling up to it. So I'll write all these dance parties down. <coughs> I know there's a dance party from last stream. So we'll do two dance parties whenever I'm feeling good enough to do it. We'll make a backlog, a credit of dance parties. It doesn't go unforgotten. We'll just dance stream. Maybe we will, yeah. Okay. I gotta get some automated uh, gears going. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm fine. Check it. We're gonna use a freaking splitter. Mm, we're gonna freaking do it. We're gonna use a freaking splitter right now. I'm sorry. It's so loud and annoying. It'd be like the T-Rex 3 model thing saw that side's view. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. Screwed it all up. Okay, so what we have to do... It's pretty compact in here. <coughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Taki's all sick as a sin. Yeah, it kind of is. Maybe it wasn't the best idea. But you know what? We're already in it, right? It's okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dockies. I've made a Gordel Sid, everybody. It's not. Oh, that's not a good idea. Do not eat Dockies when you are sick. Oh, okay. And there we go. So we've got automated gears. So our research is done. We got solar panels now. So I need steel circuits and then stone brick. So let's just get some copper wire going. Put a whole stack in there. Let's start with a few solar panels. Do I actually even need the researcher anymore? There's only one research left, so let's start on that. Why do I become Markiplier? Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. 
And welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. I see we have too much stone build up. Zombie Takis are not where it's at, gamers. this I got teams I swear to Gleep Gorb <sighs> I'm dying it's all over no I'm fine okay let's put some iron into there get these circuits going Now we can make solar. Solar panels. So where are we going to put our solar array? I guess just down here. If I died on stream with shrinking, well, yeah, it would. It's not like I have a kill switch connected to me and it's like as soon as my heart rate stops, it stream shuts down. <laughs> It would just keep going. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. I can't right now. So the solar panels are good. We're going to need a massive array of batteries too, though. Which is A-OK. -okay. It would be an adventure stream, yeah. Until the power went out or something, you know. If my internet went out, then it would turn off. Okay. We've got a nice little solar array now. <coughs> you can hear the wheeze in my voice. I can't hear it anymore now. You can hear the Weezer. Oh. We're actually out of power. Look at this big old array of batteries we got. Now, if that's not enough, I don't know what is. Let's get some more, just for a good measure, you know. And a few more. That should do a man good. We're gonna need more solar panels. <laughs> Minor fire hazard. That'll be fine. <laughs> I'm dying, guys. You got terminal lung cancer. I don't. I'm joking. So let's watch these bad boys charge up. Oh, yeah. These are going to take forever to charge up. I kind of didn't realize just how much power is here. These batteries. Get out of here, trees. I don't want you here anymore. We are Golden Freddy, old and ready. <coughs> oh, 
Oh god. Oh goodness. I might split this into multiple foundries. It's taking a smidge too long. have the output up here so we'll take in coal we will deposit <laughs> that copper wire Two long range movers to get the steel out. Then we'll have these guys come around. So we need a chest there. Our fuel line will go down below. Oopsies. Just like a so. And I only want iron to come out. No, stop! Okay. So now we can get iron going in, fuel going in. Oh, it's using coal as the fuel. That's a good point. I forgot about that. <coughs> So I don't actually need this fuel line down here, but oh well. Probably just take that out just so it uses the biofuel. We got steel automated gamers. Another oh, power production. Oh, our batteries are full. Let's go. Sounds like we need more batteries then. For the long dark. Steel? Yeah, we do have steel. See how fast these charge when it's just a few batteries. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Look at this setup, gamers. Still, still a little slow. I want to Im increase that speed at some point. The power just automatically comes out of the battery batteries when necessary. So, actually, now that we have that set up, I'm going to break these uh, burners, and you will see. So we're still producing energy from all the solar panels, but that'll be put to an end shortly. Is this like full of stuff? No, we're okay for a minute. Next thing I'm gonna need to do is get my array of uh, shredders. Actually, what I'll do is do this. No. We'll just have this go out and start shredding. Oh, make sure it's only this stuff I want shredded. Okay. Hopefully at some point I'll actually make the shredder produce other resources. <coughs> oh, we're actually out of iron. Hmm. Alright, so it is indeed night time. Not yet, never mind. Almost. As soon as that turns to the moon. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now it's nighttime. You can see these batteries start to drain. Which, uh... I actually don't know if we have enough batteries. <laughs> you cannot walk on solar panels, but that's a good idea. I should probably make it so you can. Uh, uh. Hydrate again. Mm. Uh -oh. Might have to make batteries a little better. Because this is a ton of batteries. Um, how much copper do we have built up, actually? Okay, we can build more batteries. Ooh. We're running low. <coughs> Uh-oh. We still got a little bit of juice. We just have to be held over until daytime, and then the solar panels can kick in, and then we'll be golden. Um, yeah, we've got a full solar panel set up, so that's pretty cool. Sebastian, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong. There's so many names I have to remember how to pronounce. <laughs> Sebastian Hid Hidalgo, sorry, that's probably wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Carvalho developed the game in Godot, a genius. Well, I appreciate it. I wouldn't call myself a genius, but, you know. Much appreciated, though. It's a big old chunk of land. It is a big chunk of land. So, you know, there's a give and take. Solar is nice, because you don't have to use any fuel. But, of course, yeah, we didn't have enough battery storage. But, of course, it does take up a big old chunk, so, you know. <laughs> you can see the lamps just barely lit. So when did you add batteries and what? Yeah, um, it was pretty recent, <clears throat> but it'll be out soon. Hopefully today, we'll see. I wanted to work on more dungeoning stuff, but I don't think I have time to anymore, unfortunately. So it is what it is. See how slow the bees are moving. <laughs> as soon as we hit day, we'll be all good. I think we're almost there. I might make the batteries better, just because it is a... Uh, that's a huge chunk of land for just batteries, you know? I, may, I might make them hold like twice as much. Well, I guess the solution is not necessarily a better or more batteries. Like, let's just make a better battery. Because we've got like the big battery or the big chest, we can do something kind of similar. Like a high efficiency battery, you know? <clears throat> but yeah. And maybe it uses like steel and stuff. So by the time you get to solar panels, you actually have a reason to uh, get a better battery. It's almost daytime. Oh, I have to fix that, don't I? That's a little annoying. <laughs> My notice it's actually making it darker. Okay, it's daytime. Batteries are charging. Solar panels are vibing. Yeah. We are Golden Freddy. I think we're gonna need another shredder. <coughs> Alrighty. So yeah, batteries, uh hmm. <laughs> That's super good. Great for early game. 
that's the thing. We have to kind of balance it because early game, I think batteries are the, at the perfect spot. You know, it takes a lot of copper, but it's a good sink for your copper early game, and it's really helpful for when you have like a just the treadmill setup. Uh, but late game, yeah, not as good. So I think uh, let's just make a better battery. It was like one third better. Well, I think we just need to make a improved battery. I think that'll solve our woes. Because I don't want the batteries to be god tier early game. That's a thing. I guess that's the whole reason for having things that upgrade over time. All right, batteries are full. Yeah, you can see how quickly they charge. Just, we have plenty of solar panels. We just don't have enough battery space. So we could just build more batteries, but you know, that's to a point. Well, let's start working on that right now as we speak. So I actually was working on this big battery which we can maybe do. <laughs> and it'll just be a more efficient space. So we'll have to figure out what we want to do with this. I think I want it to look different though. You know. Cause the only problem with this one is it it looks identical to the tiny battery. So how can I make it look different? <laughs> Lithium battery. What if this is like a big Duracell? <laughs> um, energizer. Hmm. Her. How would batteries look stacked vertically? Maybe, uh, I can take a gander. So you're thinking like horizontal, like, uh, are you talking more like the square car battery type of battery or round ones like a Duracell, <laughs> like these batteries? <laughs> what are pen light batteries? Okay. So yeah, just the standard alkaline battery. Yeah, we could see how that would look. Almost like the accumulators in Factorio. <coughs> um, because they're essentially like four big batteries just connected up like that. So yeah, cylindrical but tall. Yeah. Let's uh, give it a try. So we would do like... Something kind of like this. This is me goofing around. It's almost like this. And then you just stack them next to each other. Be back in a bit already. Sounds good. Almost like this. The only issue is it kind of looks like TNT. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. But I kind of like how this looks, though, too. You know? Maybe we have like uh, like the contacts that go between them like this. It does look more advanced, yeah, which is exactly what I'm aiming for. So I think it could work.
And then I'll still need these same, like, uh, frames for the charge level. Maybe we'll go big with it. Hmm, <laughs> nah. We'll just have them all show charge. So, top will be that. Then we've got the side, and then we've got... Okay. I am going to have to end the stream off super soon. Which I know it's way shorter than usual, but... It's how the cookie crumbles. I kind of like the vibe of that. It's kind of like a big industrial battery, you know. I think if I do that... Okay, and then yeah, I would have the same like bars that fill up down here. But instead it would be all of them filling up, so it's like, oh yeah, that's a big battery right there. And I might make the bottom half of these batteries a different color. Just because it would be kind of nice. So maybe we'll do... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Maybe red. No, because I don't want any color that clashes with, like... Let's try, like, a brownie gold color, maybe. Let's, uh... Oopsies. Does it just look like they're dirty, though? That's the issue. They can handle that increases attack speed, yeah. Maybe. Definitely could do that. I do want to uh, spend some time kind of uh, showing dungeoning a little bit of love. That's going to be kind of the next task. Now that I think I've fixed the early game progression issues with power, I think we're we're set. Yeah, it just looks like it's dirty, so let's see what else we can do. So the only other issue is it doesn't extend actually to the edges. Hmm. Keep the brown, you think? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a different shade. I think that's a little bit better. Well, at that point, I might as well just go with the orange. Like that. I think that looks good. I wonder if I should do, like... I think it could be a good look. More like it's connected to the battery. I don't know, although I don't want to accidentally, uh... You have to be careful with this kind of stuff, because it's so easy to, uh... 
overdo the detail. So, gotta be a little careful. How does that look versus the other way? I could do that, actually. Yeah, I think that's a better vibe. You gonna release batteries today? Uh, probably. There's a few other things that I... Mm, I don't know actually how I'm feeling about this, wait. <laughs> okay. I think if I went... That's closer to what I want. Almost. Gotta workshop it, you know? <laughs> Takes time to figure out what you want these things to look like. I think that's really close to what I want. Yeah. Option to have a larger bar. Oh, yeah. Like with the power levels. Yeah. I mean, I could change the design so it has a bigger bar. Release them now. <laughs> um, I got to I gotta head out, though, because my thing is very soon. Uh, we'll see if we can get it done. Let's go quick. Okay, what's 32 times 4? 128. <coughs> so sorry for the sickness today. Hopefully I'm not coughing so much uh, tomorrow. The next stream, oh, I screwed up all the spacing. Okay, so that one will be zero. Hero two zero. That's me. <laughs> I almost wonder if I should do like a make it look like it's almost like inset. Nah. Battery ray, yeah. Okay, so these are the... What are we going to call this battery? Because the other one's just called Big Chest, but it's not necessarily just the size, it's more dense. Like, in terms of its efficiency with battery storage, electricity storage. So we could call it, like, something battery. It definitely has to still be called a battery. You know? Dense battery, e cell array. <laughs> hmm. Battery pack. That's a welcome back. Dense battery does work, I feel like. Um. Giga battery, maybe. Um. We can always change the name, although it will cause issues with the whole game, probably. Actually, it don't, won't. XL battery. Dense battery would probably be okay. Big battery. <laughs> yeah. Battery pack. The only thing with battery pack is when you think of battery pack, a battery pack is like... Um, to me, I think of like, uh, like just a box of batteries or whatever. I don't know. Battery, ba battery pack in my brain is a tiny battery pack. You know what I mean? Like something just tiny. <coughs> Big battery. 
I mean, we could keep with the naming scheme of big. Big chest, big battery. I think just for consistency's sake, I'm going to call it the big battery for now. Uh, again, we can always change it if we want to. So, Battery Mark 2. We could go down the route of Marks. Yeah. Well, it would probably be Battery V2 because we have Conveyor V2. We'll see, though. Okay, so hopefully I can just do this really easy. Let's save this as the sequel. Okay. So we're going to duplicate the battery. Call it big battery. So really all of this code will be very similar. The only difference is the maximum power level. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just going to export that. So it was 100 there. I say we up it to 1,000. So essentially four tiles is the same as 10 batteries. Does that sound fair? I think that would be good. Big battery. Four big batteries. Okay. Set it to a thou. Oh, yeah. Add chainsaws and drills? Maybe. I mean, the mining laser is kind of the all-purpose tool for stuff like that. Um, but maybe the... Uh, I do want researches to, like, upgrade uh, that, so... We could maybe have, like, a research of... That, like, shows a chainsaw as like the icon for the research or whatever but it's just it actually just makes it so you can mine faster with the mining laser if that makes sense okay big battery hit count is three i think we're good to go so all we have to do is just go settle the research stuff now <coughs> so let's go find battery so now it's easy. We can just say, oops, big battery. Now it's going to probably be more than just copper ingots. I think I want the big battery to use steel. And I think instead of, yeah, 10 steel and maybe some copper wire, something like that. Nah, let's go five steel, ten copper wire. Remember for the advanced fuel from earlier. Yeah, you said it's too expensive. I can, I did write that down, so we'll see how I can uh, make that a little more fair. <coughs> uh, also, hey, what's up, Cosmo Dev? <laughs> I don't know if you want me to call you Iron Toast, bro, or not. Or what, but yeah. Uh, I'm just working on adding big batteries. I added the battery. We're going straight for big battery, too. Cosmo Dev's okay? Alrighty. Will do. So, yeah. Uh, clean energy. So, we'll also unlock the big battery. This is part of the support for modding, is that you can edit this. This is the list of all the researches, so you can add your own researches. So if I want, I could add a research so that you can't use iron <laughs> until you research it, which will break the whole game. It'll just break everything. <coughs> but yeah. Steel, copper wire, and iron. Yeah, I think I'll probably do copper wire just because it needs more of a use. But yeah, I think that will work. 
Do I add lithium as material? I mean, I could. I just, uh, lithium could be something. I don't know. The thing is, if I add a whole new material, I want it to have many uses. That's kind of my requirement. Because I don't like it when games will have a resource that literally does one thing. I want everything to kind of be interconnected and have multi multi purpose. Um, especially if I'm going to go through all the work of adding it into the game, it's like, um, it's, uh, I don't want it to just be used for one thing. And I'm not sure where else I would use lithium. That's like the problem, right? But yeah. Can't do dance. Yeah, I was already redeemed. I'm not going to do it today because I'm sick, but we'll do it as soon as I feel okay with doing it. All right, so it should have everything set up. That is a lot of power networks. All right. Oh. I'm stupid. We got to go to the building menu. I didn't add it to the building menu. Uh, ba -ba 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 a battery. Big battery. I'm gonna say it's the big battery scene instead. It's a two by two. Boom. I'm also gonna make it so people can walk on solar panels. So collision will no longer be layer one. <coughs> so let me add more change log things. Added. Good job. Good job. I was typing. Added big batteries. Made it so you can walk on solar panels. What, solar panels, they break? <laughs> Maybe. Nah, I probably won't do that. Yeah, let me just go make sure you can actually walk on them. Uh, let's see, I need more steel. Oh, yeah, steel. Yeah, so you can place it on players. You can now walk on them. Although the depth sorting is a little weird. I have to fix that. We'll do that. Uh, but now the big batteries show up here. Let's uh, build some, shall we? We have no excess power. Because it's nighttime. Let's uh, make some burners, shall we? Is that enough power? No. We're gonna need more burners. Oh, shoot, I'm not gonna have enough. The conveyor I don't need anywhere. It's okay. Oh, I forgot this thing guzzles iron. All that steel. Okay. Oh, is it charging? I think it might be, but just extremely slowly. Yeah, it's very slow. It hasn't even rounded up to 1% yet. <coughs> uh, add a button so when you're in dungeons, you can click a button and go back to the base. Well, you can go back to your base if you find the star launcher in the dungeon. So that's kind of the way back. But yeah. Uh, yeah, they add an item that does one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. <laughs> Battery's a really good idea. Because you know the constant supply for burners. Yeah, right. Hydrate. 
Dune 2000 has wind traps that funnel wind underground power generators and extract moisture too. That's pretty interesting. I could look into something like that, like also wind power as another power option in the game. <clears throat> I think the best way to balance that is just to have it kind of randomly come in and out of full power, you know? And so it can make a lot of power, it's just not always super reliable. So again, you need batteries. These are charging just super slow. These are going a bit faster. Well, these are 10. Uh, Sargon's becoming astronaut. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, I want there to be a lot of options for power generation. You know, so that you can pick what's, what's right for what area. It also would be cool if we do other planets, like... Yeah, similar how astronaut does it, where, like, specific planets have specific superior ways of power generation. Like, maybe there's a planet that is always dark, so solar is pretty much completely useless. Kind of like, uh, that one jungle planet in Astroneer. I don't remember the name, but... Or, like, one where it's really windy, but also dark, you know? I kind of like that need to use different types of power sources, so... Oh, let's see. Oh, those are charging quick. Yeah, so these are essentially worth 10 of these batteries, just one of these, so I'd say that's pretty good. Might change that to instead of generates to stores, then whatever amount. Um, let's see, spawner, you have to go to the world. So we have to do one for the big bat tree. And then let's also go see if we can fix the solar panel depth sorting. But this will probably be the final thing since I have to leave. So to fix this, what we have to do is we have to set the offset to 24 and change the position to minus 24. And hopefully that'll do it is not and the reason is because we have to do this so let's say ordering y sort enabled and now it has fixed it <coughs> good goody goody gumdrops i might make it have a little bit of a side to it obviously because it's not perfectly flat so i think instead of 24 i'll do like just a few pixels, 20. And I think that'll look good. So like you'll be kind of under the side of it just a tiny bit, like right there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's done. Cool. Uh, you explain the map or maybe let the player buy more land. I'm not going to do the whole buying land thing because I, it's, I feel like it's a little overdone at this point because every game, it seems like, that has this kind of like vibe always does that route. And I am just, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do it. So what we'll probably do instead, though, is uh, just being able to explore different areas and then slowly kind of... Like, I want the difficulty in getting to them and stuff kind of the way you unlock it rather than it just being you have to buy it. So it's like there's an island way out in the ocean where you've got to research sailing or whatever before you can actually get over there. Um, and maybe there's like very specific challenges in each of those areas. So maybe there's an area where there's like a threat, not like a enemy type of threat, but like... A, uh, a certain like problem that you have to deal with so like um oh I don't know what would be good I do like um Factoria that new planet that has like lightning everywhere so something maybe kind of like that like an environmental hazard yeah oxidation or something like that where it's like 
a new challenge that you have to deal with because the reward is a bunch of extra space, so it's worth it. But the punishment, I guess, or the sacrifice you have to make is dealing with all the extra work, right? So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, though. Um, where, what is this? What does it get generated? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do, like, seed generation. I might just have, like, a set seed or one that I create myself, you know? We'll have to see about that. It's just my only worry with seeds is that you can get a really bad seed. And I kind of like in, like, for example, a game like Satisfactory, the map is set in stone. Um, and so, like, there's a lot of really great spots in the map. And the map is so big, it's not like you really ever, like... You can play through a whole new game and experience it through a whole new area. And I like that kind of idea. Maybe we'll even have a thing where, like, you start... You can choose where you start, like maybe uh, on a different island, like you start on a desert island or something, just to maybe trees don't spawn there, you know, something like that, just a different challenge. So, <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Maple Fools, you should add building, it costs a lot of power when its power crashes the game. <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of funny, if not. <laughs> Corrupting your save file on purpose? I don't know. Maybe. I'll think about it, I guess. Are washing when? Uh, dude, I don't know. Maybe soon. Uh, that's cool. Normal one's a 68 dollar chip pack DLC coming out. Uh, probably not ever. I don't think I'm going to really do any DLC stuff. The only DLC thing I would maybe be okay with is either sort of like a whole expansion to the, the game where it's like, practically it's like you're getting a whole new game to play. Like it has to be of that scale. I don't know how I feel about DLC skins and stuff like that. I'm not sure. At least I don't have any plans for any DLC in early access for sure. And also, it's a matter of, like, how well will the game actually do? <laughs> uh, if the game does really well, then it's definitely more of a possibility to do more DLC stuff. But um, if it doesn't, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to make it free to play. No, <laughs> that'd be a broad moment. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. The game would have to do pretty well for me to ever consider DLC. But I don't know, that's the thing. If the game does that well, then I don't care about the money. Because I already have enough in this hypothetical scenario where it actually does well. So, I don't know. You know, plans for DLC and early access. Said no, Rich CEO ever. <laughs> yeah. The thing that matters more to me is not making money off the game. It's, uh... Just making a fun game for people to play <laughs> that's really the only thing i care about obviously it would be really nice if i could make enough money to live off of minimum wage that'd be cool afford a studio apartment that's all i could ever ask for but it might be asking for too much because rent is like fifteen hundred dollars for a studio apartment <laughs> and plus there you go. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm going to be real. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, early access is full. Well, we're going to start with early access. Um, just because I think this is the perfect kind of game for that. Uh, just to give kind of people more of a chance to shape it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's like a very open kind of sandbox type of game and so early access makes more sense with this uh if we were doing like a platformer game or something we would not do early access um but yeah and then eventually we'll move into full full release i'm not sure how long that's going to take you know again it depends on 
how well the game does and stuff, but maybe 2025, maybe 2026, who knows? Just depends, right? If the game doesn't do well, it's probably full release will come sooner rather than later because I'm not going to spend so much time trying to get it ready for full release. <laughs> so we'll see. Though you can put batteries in the early power supply because it's kind of hard to get through the early game. Yeah, it already is. So these base batteries are unlocked by default. No research to get them. So, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, no research. I, I specifically did that because these are the solution to early game power issues. That and also the fact that machines will keep running even if you're on low power now. So, hopefully should help. Waste an iron out. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, bro. There you go. <laughs> I said Activision a long time ago. Now they fire all their employees. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bro moment. Epic Games. Fortnite. That game is uh, something. We have so much power generating. How do I have that much? Oh, I guess I have a lot of solar panels. Yeah. At least it now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I might. Although if I release with this stuff, I'll probably not brand it as V6.2. Give me until tonight, I think. Okay, you know what? I'll give you I'll give you a, a pre-release build. But I'm not going to put it up as uh, the full V6.2 yet. Right, biofuel coal. Uh, biofuel is much better than coal. You know, actually, everybody, <laughs> if you want to learn more about the game, head on over to the Wikipedia article. It's our own Starground Wikipedia. Uh, and there's actually a page here about um, fuel. So you can see all the info about different types of fuel. I see it says, yeah, it does. I've been working on trying to get it working with dark mode and stuff, but it is an absolute pain. It's mostly working though. But obviously there's some things that don't go into dark mode. And then some things are impossible to read in dark mode. So use probably default mode for now, unless I decide to just have regular or dark mode and not bother with having both. Probably be easier, but... Yeah, this is all the info on every single fuel type in the game, so... Fuel cells obviously are the best. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we do have a wiki. It's pretty cool. Anyone is welcome to help contribute to the wiki. I... <coughs> Hopefully very soon I can put up all the sprites on the wiki. So that, like, if we reference, so uh, I don't know, the fuel cell, we can show an image of the fuel cell, that type of thing, you know? And we need to make templates for items and buildings. So, but yeah. Ever need help with CSS? That's what I specialize in. Oh, let's go. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know. I think I've got it pretty much uh, all set up. It's just minor things. Like, I just have to add a rule for this specific type of text just to turn white you know when in dark mode um and i'll probably change these tables to more of like a gray color um and then change these link colors because yeah obviously this is hard to see there's not enough contrast uh, but everything looks pretty good in regular mode so yeah yeah there's so many pages in here that are not created yet <laughs> So, definitely a work in progress. Yeah. Everyone's welcome to uh, edit this. And also, anyone can change the CSS, too. You just go to common.css, go to everything, and this is the CSS. So, if anyone has ways that they want to improve the CSS, anyone is welcome to do it right here. So, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Alrighty, well, that's probably going to be it for the stream. I'm going to go ahead and build this version super quick, though. So, let's see. Save this. Yes, override it. Oh, I just joined. Welcome back. Oh, you also just... Yeah, sorry. I, uh... Yeah, I know we're ending the stream off way earlier than usual, but... 
my uh, game design club is actually today and not on Wednesday, so... Well, actually, it was on Wednesday, too, but I wasn't here Wednesday, so... Uh, but... It's the beginning of the L Ludum Dare jam, so... And I'll probably be streaming me actually work on that. So, stay tuned. I don't know what the theme is or anything yet, but we'll we'll find out tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna uh start ground. And then I'm also gonna build another version for uh I can't remember the username. Why can't I? I'm a silly goober. Oh, spoilers. Uh <laughs> the uh the French bunny. Sorry, I almost forgot. I'm going to export a version for them right now. And hopefully it'll f at least give us some more insight as to what their issue is. Okay. Um, this game is fun. Let's go. Thank you. Well, if you saw the list I put, uh, that's basically all the stuff I had. Uh, yeah, did you put the... Was that in the... Uh... uh <clears throat> Where is it? In the alpha form here? Because I'm sure I did read through it if it was. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is good. I do appreciate all these suggestions and stuff. I actually did uh, change a few of these, do a few of these things here, like the number requirements. Uh, I increased the day-night cycle for you because I know you mentioned it was a little too short. Um... Yeah, so I'm working away at this stuff. But yeah, I do appreciate it. It's uh, nice to have all that there. Yeah, it's great to get feedback from everybody on stuff like this. You know? Because I uh, really value being able to actually know what people want. <laughs> okay, well, GPU fix. We don't really need that one anymore. So I'm just going to disable that one. Oh, actually, I won't yet. So I'm going to make another one alpha preview. Uh... <coughs> okay. So we got a few things we got to upload. So first is going to be the preview build for anyone that wants to have batteries now. Don't worry about compatibility stuff. Uh, everything you do in the preview build will be compatible with the full V6.2, so. Uh, yeah, the only thing I can't promise is that there could be some weird issues happening. So, you know, be warned. But that's that's about it. Yeah, so some of the stuff's changed up with the version. Yeah, I appreciate that. That is nice to uh, have that to kind of keep track of. <laughs> Uh, let's get that other version built. So, one thing I wanted to try... So, the French Bunny on Discord, they're having issues getting the game to launch. And it's been a nasty little thing trying to figure it out. Um, but I'm going to try a few things here. First thing that I want to do is... Oh, right, we're uploading a build. It's going to kill the stream. Shoot. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to enable Verbos. And we're going to export it again and actually export with the debug.
It's okay now. Yeah, I think we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, that always happens, and I shouldn't have done that. But yeah. Upload failed. What? No. Okay. I'm going to have to upload these after I end the stream, I think. All right, so I'm going to put those up. So if you want to get access to the batteries right now, it's available for anyone that has a key already. Just go here, go to properties, go to betas, and it will show up here soon. Uh, it'll be a alpha preview. So let me know when that shows up or yeah. Yeah, I can't seem to do it on stream. It's not happy. So you can make shred, uh, shred or shred items in bulk. Well, the only reason I have it shred one at a time is that I, you actually have to build more shredders because otherwise you would just need one ever. So, but I'll think about it. Maybe we'll make a, like an upgraded shredder that uh, shreds a stack instead of just one item. <coughs> So I'll put that down. All right. Well, we're going to off stream. I got to hurry because I don't have much time. I still got to go take a shower. Let's uh, raid someone super quick. Code contingency. When's the last time we raided him? I don't know. It's been a minute. We like just started. Any thoughts on who we would like to raid today? He's bald. Who's this guy? Man, I wonder if I'll ever get 263 viewers one day. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, there's a lot of people streaming today. Can you make animal labor? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Uh, no. Unless anyone sees anyone that they really want me to raid or anything, then we'll probably just raid uh, Code Contingency. Maybe the stream? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming to the stream, yeah. <laughs> Sorry that you came in late, but yeah. Godot Wild Jam. I think it's better just having a few people in the stream. It's definitely easier to read chat. I mean, that's for sure. Of course, more people in the stream means uh, more money. <laughs> nah, I don't care. Um, <gasps> It's me. That's crazy. But yeah, no. It, there is something really nice about having a manageable amount of people in the stream. <laughs> Because you can actually spend the time to reply to everybody, you know. You can't do that when you have a million people chatting. No, let's just rate code, code contingency. Alrighty. Let's switch over to chatting. Uh, let me type in the name. There we go. Alrighty. Well, thank you everybody so, mu so much for popping in the stream. I don't know why the confetti's going. It always does that when I swap the scenes. Sorry that I'm sick today. I sound gross. With my sniffles. Um, hopefully I'll be better tomorrow. We'll see. Sorry for the shorter stream also, but, you know, game jam today, so I gotta be ready for that tonight. But yeah. Thank you everybody so much for coming in. I probably will be streaming tomorrow at 3 p.m. MST. Which is the usual typical stream time. Today was an exception. I don't usually stream this early. It's only like 30 minutes early, but still. Um Yeah, again, quick reminder. Those builds will be up on Steam. So yeah. Join the Discord if you want to get access to the game. I don't give it out to everybody, but you know, let me know if if uh it's something you really want to uh play. And I can uh, probably send you a key your way, so. But yeah. And also, if your name is, like, different... Like, if you pop into the stream and you've been here and, like, watching the game, let me know and I'll give you a key because I appreciate all the time that you guys spend actually being a part of the stream, so. Yeah. 
two or three vitamins. Yeah, I will. I'll take my uh, my gummies, my Flintstone gummies. All right, I'm gonna start the raid now. Yeah, thank you everybody so much. We're gonna raid Coke Contingency. Um, and I'll see you all tomorrow or another time if you can't catch tomorrow. So, alrighty. Bye bye.